Hi, so we've got a Triumph Speed 400 here. I've had it for about a week. It's got a 400 engine and it makes it nice and light to ride. It's still got quite a bit of power, it's quite nippy and you can do some overtakes or whatever, but it's, it's not intimidating. So part of what makes it really easy is the nice wide handlebars. So either when you're sitting on the bike, you've got a nice upright position. It's because it's so wide, it's easy to control cornering or, to, or doing tight turns. So it's quite hard to pinpoint exact things to, to say when a bike's really good anyway, but we'll have a bit of a look around. So the styling overall is, I really like it. I like the colouring. The tyres, uh, I, I really liked them. They come as standard. Got the brakes, they're really sharp and responsive. No problems with them at all. The headlights and, and tail lights, they're all uh, nice and bright. We've got quite an interesting bit on the frame where you've, uh, behind the radiator here, you've got the fan and they've actually incorporated the, the shape of the frame into so, so that the fan's set inside it, which is interesting touch. Uh, you've got the single cylinder engine and that's, that's nice and responsive with a um, six speed gearbox. The gears are really smooth to, to shift them um, and comfortable to ride. So the seat itself is reasonably narrow and it's reasonably low, could be a little bit lower for me, I'm five foot four. Uh, we've got the pillion seat and a handhold or a luggage rack which is always useful. Uh, the rear tyre again, I really like that and uh, rear brake so that's sort of a run through of front to back and why do I like the tyre? It was grippy, it seems to have a decent tread pattern. Been down some roads with the grit and gravel and I went through a Ford. It's been a bit, there's potholes and all sorts and it's, it's a nice tyre. Quite, uh, quite reassuring to have that on there. So with the exhaust on this side, I think it looks nice and it sounds nice. It's got a nice rumble as you're riding along. So that's a pretty good noise. The suspension I found really comfortable. I've got it set with a softest preload uh, and that was fine for me. So you can see here this is where the preload adjustment is. So it's got the steps, you twist this bit round, that's on the softest setting here. So the front forks work well in, with, uh, in combination with the back. They don't feel too soft or too hard, um, nicely balanced. So I think the build quality is really excellent on this bike and it's really great value for money. The bike's probably not for me in that it is that mid-range size. I either prefer a smaller bike that I accept is small and for whatever I do with it or something with a bit more power and a bit more oomph. Uh, this one, I, I'm really enjoying riding it. So I think it'd be really good as a, as a run around. Uh, it's nippy and not intimidating at all. I'd quite happily take something like this on a longer tour. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think it was too small or awkward or something but I probably wouldn't want to go very far on a motorway on it it, it can do it for sure but it probably wouldn't be that comfortable um, but you could get some get some luggage on there and things it's not fed so it probably feel be a bit exposed to the elements if you're going in uh, some chillier weather but uh, I think it's it's a bike that you can do anything with really and I really like that about it Yeah, it, it it can do overtakes. It's not as powerful and as quick to just nip round things when you're closer to the speed limit, um, or you've not got quite as, as big a gap as as uh, you might want. I I find that frustrating for me, but that's partly because I I have a 400 bike. My one of my Honda Brosses is a 400. It's older, so it hasn't got as 
as much power as this. It's, it's not as responsive, but it, it's something that's always bugged me about that bike. It's obviously not bugged me enough to get rid of it because I still have it, but it's something that um, it just niggles me. So I, I think this being a similar feel when I'm trying to overtake, I am probably more frustrated about it than I might be. When Alex sent me through the draft review this morning, I realized how unexciting and mediocre I've made the bike sound. And that's not really what I think of it. It's actually really fun and a great confidence giver. And that bit has been the key thing for me about the bike. I hadn't really realized that in riding some peculiar bikes doing strange things recently, my confidence in my riding had decreased quite a lot. So getting back on this, I've kind of gone, oh wow, actually I can ride motorbikes. And it sounds really strange, but that is how I feel. So there's still not lots of key things that I can pick out about the bike and go, this thing's excellent, that thing's excellent. But the overall package is something really quite remarkable. So we've got a, a few cons. We're going back to front for this one. First thing is the seat. I did mention earlier that the it's a low enough seat for me. I feel that because of the size of the bike being relatively small anyway, it would have been beneficial just to have it a tiny bit lower or a tiny bit narrower. Um, I'm on tiptoes when I'm on it and I feel like if, it, if you were starting out or were using the bike because you wanted something more easy, um, then just being able to touch the floor a little bit. So my feet are even on, on both sides. Um, you can see that I'm tiptoes basically. I think partly the the pegs are right where my ankles want to be so I'm either having to put my feet slightly forward or backwards which you lose a little bit of the height there but it's it's a relatively, it's a relatively light bike so it's not such an issue but I know a lot of people would like to be able to have, have their feet more firmly on the ground than this. I'm five foot four and a half. Um, I, th I suppose it's maybe a slightly top heavy compared to some bikes. Maybe it's just got a full tank of fuel, but it just feels a little bit more cumbersome to, to move on the ground. When you're riding it, it you can just, you know, sling it around corners and it's really comfortable, especially because with the wide bars and things, it makes it easy to handle. The, the wing mirrors are also where, where I, where I, keep my bikes it, they tend to try and snag each other's wing mirrors as you move them around so when they're when they're set inside it's a little bit easier but I've actually grown to like these these bar end mirrors so one thing that's quite um, amusing about the bike um, I don't know if it's a pro or a con or it's just a thing so you, it depends how you have your feet but if you're changing gear obviously they're a bit further forward sometimes I put my feet back here just for change of riding position and I found that my heels are touching these pillion pegs so if you did want to go touring you can be assured that you've got a nice comfortable position for your feet to have a little bit of a little bit of a rest like that so you've got the display here we've got the ABS traction control your normal things of um, being able to cycle through what trip trip it is and miles per gallon and time and what whatnot um, you've got the rev counter and the speedometer. Um, How do you feel about the display? Kind of does the job. Um, I, I think I prefer dials that go all the way around just because I'm more used to them. It's weird having 30 at the bottom because I don't know it just doesn't seem to be where I expect it to be. The mud guard is a little bit of a con for me again. Um, it's a little bit short and it tends to flick mud and grit up into your, the radiator fins there. Um, I guess you can get a fender extender, so that's easily sorted. So I really enjoy riding this bike. It feels very free. In It's so comfortable to ride, a nice riding position. You could sit on it comfortably for hours. You know, it's not, it's not tiring on the wrists, arms, anything really, which makes it so comfortable to ride in any sort of scenario. Um, I like riding the little back lanes and things. It's easy to just zoom about and and it's, it's enjoyable because it is easy. So the engine can be a little bit buzzy and it's slightly snatchy, but it's a 400 and that's sort of what you expect with it. So that's 
part of the part of the course for this bike, I think. What do you mean by patchy? Um, it's very sort of on or off with the accelerator. It, I suppose it doesn't have so much torque there, and because it's a smallish engine, it it does tend to slow it down as soon as you're not on the accelerator. Engine so braking, do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Engine braking, I guess. So generally, I just feel it's a really excellent bike. It's great value for money and with really good build quality. I think it would suit a range of people, either you know, new per new new riders or older riders, or just someone who wants something that's fun and they can just uh, enjoy.